might want to get a guide if you're not familiar with the area. Stay, alright. Alright, so let's make complete some world quests. Um, I'm more interested in entering new areas. So let's check here first. Uh, this is an area with chests. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. Alright, let's check over here. It's an area full of Fatui. And I have to come here as another so we can talk. Uh, there, I don't think I saw any nearby. Oh, that's bad. Uh, unconscious, not bad. Okay, I want to grab uh, Damn it, there must be some Let's see here There must be some Yunkasaurus around yeah. I'm not in combat. Not in combat. Okay, I never tried. I don't know if we can speak to other species. Help me. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we can't really. It's unconscious. Uh, big rock. Very person bad. Very person. Well, they're unconscious, but maybe they could be mumbling something while sleeping. Confusing. Uh, 
Hang on, this area isn't here on the map. Alright, uh, wooden box can open. You're not talking about the that, are you? The chest? That key with frontal notches. Hmm, a rule, a rule. Okay, I don't think I would be able to listen to this one. Oh, I'll, I'll we'll have one now. I'm supposed to go where I aim. Balls. Balls made of metal that can be grabbed by a sign of enemy grappling hooks. You are young stars using their own abilities. Once you obtain one, hold and release. Okay. Yeah, I just thought this would explode. That's why I didn't bother to aim so well here. Person black, black fur. Ah, hot, very hot. Okay, so they're talking about the captain. Oh, what? Uh, research center emergency machine operation handbook. A man on the seems to have seen a lot of use, judging by the proliferation of handwritten notes scroll upon its pages. Regarding the emergency brake system, the mining facility's brake system is a safety mechanism that must be manually activated and is designed uh, design to shut down the core and prevent mechanical damage resulting from malfunctions of the flagstone research machinery. When a potentially dangerous malfunction is detected, please activate the control consoles on both sides to initiate braking measures. Everything notes. Are these things they ship? us really all the useful 
is modifying it to the power is modifying it to be to be power it all with lava to power it all with lava from Natlan even feasible uh, all right Vasily no point flipping through this manual any longer just keep your eye on the machine these machines humming and wearing away Below this section is written, fine, as requested by Vasily. I hereby declare the following. I promise not to accidentally lock myself in the cage again, nor will I attempt to smash open the lock, thereby necessitating the activation of the braking system. On top of this, I solemnly swear that I will probably read through this manual, cross my heart, and hope to die. That's gotta be good enough, yeah? You better make good, good on that, Sidorenko. Seriously. If I had to catch those crazy little creatures and put them all back in the cage one more time. That's a bit far. Hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, can I give one an apple or something? Can I be snow? Pleasure is there uh, than the unexpected. Let's see. Ah, I thought it would be a learn. I thought I would have an alcohol star for me to swing there. Uh, the map. Uh, let me just mark the things I grabbed here. Just a second. Uh, okay, all right. That marks the ones. I got it. Ah, okay, so this is close anyway. Sorrows I'm taking it with me to the end. Extract Stabilize. Uh, 
diary of soldier abroad. This seems to be the diary of soldier stationed here. I'm puzzled to be honest. Why do we have to go to such lengths to capture stars for nothing? Something, something plastic, special constitution, something, something solid and liquid. Nomokonov Nomo seems more familiar with these things. I hear he had some kind of technical background before joining up with the Patui. He always tries to explain things to me, but it's all mumbo jumbo to me. My brain just ain't cut out for that kind of stuff. The fire water they sent us from Chesnaya interests me more, anyway. The fire water. Our lord has never revealed what all the, these flocks on research is meant to be about. The person from Natal he brought with him the last couple of times seems kinda suspicious. But we trust our lord's judgment. Not like we care much about this stuff anyway. First a glass of fire water and then sleep. Ah okay, they drink, so it's probably they are from Chesnaya, fire water is probably vodka. Uh, not self, don't get locked inside it next time. Uh, I wish someone could see him silly face. He looks so pleased in himself he did. Um he's usually pretty likable but so by the book, when things need doing, boring. Worse, there's no far water to drink today. Damn, Deva City, he took my stash. Oh. Hey. Let me out. Yeah, apparently I can't yet. Oh. Pachuk. Uh, Roar. but now I'll have a, a large one. Uh, for the box. Uh, let's get that first. No. Oh. Doesn't she live here? Oh. Uh, that is. Ah, okay. Got it. Uh, well, I suppose I should swap now. We can really go for the can we? Oh, we can? Alright. Oh, yeah, but I will need that. Uh, where do I need you? What do I need you for? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Nice. No! I can grab that again. Uh, so I base can be activated from here. But that's just what. Ah! Something opens. Order guide you. Gather. Transfix you. Join us, Rose. Just like I was captured. Let me just see here. Yeah, I think that the Pelisaurus will just give me the hook. I won't really need it. Well, maybe I need it forward, but... 
This I have to bring another of those blue things. I better keep the Yonkosaurus. Ah, and a Koholosaurus is there. Oh. Okay. Uh, no chests right here now. Hmm. Inspection maintenance records, a maintenance log, inspection report, and evaluation for various machinery is test. Transportation pipe heat resistance, no issues. Directional valves, no issues. Advanced drill, brand new. Friction press, functioning perfectly. Test results, no issues at all. It's quite surprising that the Fountain Research Institute's equipment is, is in such a good condition. I had thought that they would just chuck chuck us some random gear to try to pull a fast one of us. Ah. Okay, way, another way back there. Ah, this Golosaurus back here. Well, when I hit them, I don't suppose I am killing all of them, just the younglings. Uh, but when we beat them up, they go into that. I don't remember that state that we can just possess them and they aren't really moving anyway anymore. So, when they are unconscious like that, shouldn't we be able to, to get, to possess them? Oh no, my bad, sorry. Oh. No, there's that, so I am supposed to shoot some user somewhere. Oh, hang on, I didn't see that. Ah, didn't see that.
grab those two. Alright, everybody's free. Greater pleasure is there than the unexpected. Ah, the key I needed. Ah, now I'll probably unlock a couple of stones. There was unconscious battle win as well. Okay, now we have that. So this wasn't really a quest, but... Uh... Okay, I think there's like a couple of chests back there that I didn't get, but... Alright, it wasn't... there wasn't really a quest inside there. Should be a few things to get to. I haven't walked too much around because there's it feels like an important place, not just random chests to grab around. kind of thing here for me to grab to unlock an area here
Yeah, this thing I haven't messed with it yet. Ah, oh, can I? That's what I need. Ah, I got two. Alright, I have no idea where I got two. Uh, actually, I didn't pay that much attention. Just did I get one well in that chest now? I was kind of looking at the map. Okay, but they're all around here. Maybe one to the side. Ah, shit. Uh. Okay. What has to be kind of like a, a cut like that? All right, now it works. Yeah, it didn't show any. Yeah, but that was it. Yeah, it didn't show that I got that thing. Look, you know, there is a seal gate over here. Yeah, which is... Uh, Thomas Paimon, but... Thomas Halber Paimon's got a feeling that the strange things we pick up nearby must have something to do with getting it open. Weird, just what could be behind this gate? Hmm, has to do. Could lead to a monster's lair. Maybe it's a treasure called a cave. Monster's lair. Well, I mean, where there be monsters, there be treasures too, right? Bro, well, that's not a given. Oh, come on, stop being such a downer. We'll find out once we get inside. Uh, oh, hey, you two outlanders. And that scarf wearing the petal stars over there. Huh? Hey, aren't you the energetic one? Seriously, though, so, I mean to told them that a seal is a seal because it's meant to seal off forbidden areas. Seals are meant to be broken. And you don't, you won't find anything there except for terribly profound curses. Or, wait, so that means there's no treasure? Oh, I'm sure there is, probably. Probably. Yes, but what it is, is something you want later shouldn't be poking around, for the forbidden ground that lies behind the door is also holy ground. Only experienced couriers who have completed the trials and received approval may enter. Within it is said lies a medium by which our ancestors communed with the world of night. Speaking of which, I wasn't gone that long, was I? And yet here you are with the three trial completion keystones in tow. Impressive. Uh, uh, when it comes to climbing up and down looking for stuff, you won't find many better than us. Wow. Even tribal couriers might not match your speed. Well, you're still not permitted to enter these double grounds, but my camp is nearby. How about I treat you to a quick bite, and then you can enjoy a comfy rest? Ru? Uh, we're not hungry yet. Since you, we've come this far already. Don't worry about it, you can rest, Paimon will keep watch. You're sure you won't just sleep sounder than I will? Seriously, uh, Paimon will show you. You two seem to get along well. Alright, come along now, my camp, and rest await. I will prepare some hot food, guess from afar, and should chance allow, we may have much to talk about. 
that conversation went far without you telling me your name. There's a cave over there. No need to stand on ceremony. Wanna try my cooking? If you want to make some yourself, I've got a recipe in the box over there. Along some things I don't use, feel free to go through them. Oh, you carry recipes on you? I drew up a bunch of copies myself as it happens. I might be of use, might not, but it could save a life if you run into someone who needs saving. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, you've sure given this some thought. After all, you have only yourself to rely on when you're outside the tribe. Actually, you haven't asked your name yet. My name? Huh. Call me Legba. And you, friends? Introduce yourself to Legba. That was needed for Paimon just say our names. So, Paimon is in Turtledile in the little Tepetlisaurus. Marvelous fate it is that had you meet here in. Nathan. Speaking of which, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing near the tribe's taboo grounds? Huh? Treasure hunting, secret seeking, the former naturally. Neither mere curiosity brought us here. Mm, yep. Who wouldn't be curious after seeing a great seal gate, anyway? Or well, decent people, I say. Hey. Uh, whatever the case, don't get any funny ideas about the place, outsiders. I will not permit you to enter. That is where our ancient ancestors reestablished contact with the night. And since that day, more and more tribespeople have been able to enter the Night Kingdom's gates. Huh? What sort of place is this Night Kingdom anyway? Oh, so I was supposed to do that early when getting to that one. Well, I heard that it's where old people not long go when they leave this world, and only a few ever return. There, they say, the water flows like alluring light. There, they say, monumental obsidian tablets stained. It is no place for you to be curious about, even more so than our taboo grounds. Uh, so, about the thing you mentioned earlier, uh, the one that communicates with the night world? A medium, yes. An ancient tool by which our forebears made contact with the wild, the envoys of, of the Night Kingdom. Oh, an ancient tool? Well, perhaps I have said too much, whatever. Today, a stable connection has been established with the Night Kingdom, and so a medium has long, long been unnecessary. If you ask me, such matters were quite crude to begin with. Still, it is a sacred relic for human tribes. Or Alright, alright, we get it. Good, uh, be right and proper. Do not trespass upon the taboo grounds. That's the way. Uh, your companion is clever. A clever child, indeed. I too have many such brilliant children. But now I walk alone. Many years it has been since I left the flocks. Uh, Oh, uh, night has drawn uh, night has drawn night sooner than I expected. Uh, honestly, hearing so much stuff, uh, she doesn't really understand. It's making Paimon sleepy. Now look at me getting all carried away like this. Bring me the occasional person to talk to, and I get all chatty. Uh, if you don't mind, would you like to rest here for the night? I can prepare a um, bedding for you. Uh, we will be out patrolling at night anyway, so you need not fear for your safety. Uh, thanks, uh, that's thoughtful of you. Roar. Lying on a bed of warm grass, you swiftly drift off as the campfire flickers by your side, but you feel as though some faint noise lingers by your ear, preventing you from falling into deep slumber. Deeper slumber. Until something cold and moist makes contact with your cheek, dragging you from the thick dark night of dreamland. You open your eyes as to the side of Turtle Dial's friendly familiar face. You s it seems that he was licking you to wake you up. Uh, a moment later, you realize that he is trying to show you something. 
A strange obsidian statue. Oh. Oh, will we get an ancient name? Did you find this? Did you spit this out? No, I think. Did you find this? Um, uh, don't think this thing looks kind of ominous. You're a reader of omens now, are you? Looks pretty valuable. But I'm just telling you what she thinks. It looks like bad news. But wait a sec. This means you ran off while we were sleeping, didn't you, Turtle Or not good. Where did you find this thing anyway? Was it some sort of super dangerous, super dirty place? Or Turtle Dial Inus, little Pymo. We're still here. What's up? I heard up here upon hearing Turtle cries. What happened? Oh. This, this is unbelievable. This obsidian statue is the medium that our ancestors once used to communicate with the United Kingdom. Still behind a great gate, deep inside the forbidden grounds. Did you make the little tapestries dig it out for you? You stole the tribal relic, and you think I even prepared this camp for you and a place to rest? Hang on, we can explain. We're busted, run. Well, since you've caught us. Well, we can explain. It wasn't on purpose. Oh. You explain the situation to Legba. Okay, I thought of all those options, we would end up fighting or something. But if you explain, what if I chose the other options? So that's what happens. Uh, so you think I sl it slipped my mind how this little one can simply turn away anywhere? A failure on my part? Still, this is a problem. Now this minion has long been unused, but it is still a sacred relic. And if the wild were to be angered, we would be in deep trouble. What do we do then? Whatever the case, I must trouble you all to return the statue to its rightful place. How convenient, so we can enter there. Uh, yes, that means you too, little troublemaker. Yeah, come on, let's go. But just so you are aware, the paths in the ruins are winding and filled with mechanisms, so stay worried. The recipe? Uh, here we have the keystone open the door, but I'm watching. I don't do anything unnecessary. Deeper, watch your step. Of course, for your own safety is utterly relevant. What's important is that I rather you not damage the obsidian. Why do you have to emphasize that? Over there, memory source. Oh. I'm not sure about the details. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Pulling the lever first. Yeah, I could have given time to read the first part. Okay, I have to 
align them. I got a hang of it, very impressive. Present Quest 2 has me unlocked, perhaps there are other lights. Here, oh. and so I'm making this hell be unlocked. Let's keep going. Huh. Uh, there is stone tablet for there is stone tablets. Inscription on each has been eroded by relics twice this time. Okay. Strikes for all the barbarians worshipped the evil dragon sect, seizing a uh, relaxation ravine and twisted. Uh, if you expand these three regions, encountered ancient dragon idols, destroyed prisoners of war, all chief priests as the lord of the crossroads, sprinkle the essence of sacrifice onto the soil, and each of the head elders of the three districts of each of the tribes. Priests of all tribes must recruit large numbers of craftsmen to expand the tribe, the temples and forts, spreading their blessings to the savage lands once ruled by dragons. Come on. Mm, there's the altar, the Carmelite should believe, it must be guarded by the wild. I've been body in the wheel of the center card, may communicate with the living, obsidian statue in your hand. No one that I would be mad we took the obsidian. It should be alright. Reasonably reasonable. Oh, is there spam? Oh, there's a look like you know, Happy to see us. Solidify! Well, we can't well, well, but we can communicate. That's just how things are. It's my witch comes. So it's attacking. Yeah, it's attacking for a while now. Gather! Extract! Order guide you. 
two, flesh and plural. Late bear. Oh no. Uh, the world of Awab made it manifest and you defeated it. You are mightier than I imagined. Most tribes folk would have retreated in reference as soon as they laid eyes on it. For no one knows the reason why such manifestations appear. So how do you know this is from the wild? Uh, if you're fortunate, they may respond to you, um, but mostly they come to solve one problem or another. So even you don't understand the wild's intentions. Huh? As I said before, the wilds amass the will of the parted guardians. They are uh, great yet chaotic and abstruse by comparison. Just like the realm, the Night Kingdom. Legend has it that in the days after the dragon with blazing wings awoke from within its volcano, rash humanity could, could but barely eke out survival from between its great fangs, claws, and the great banner-like span of its wings. Uh, and in the meantime, the Abyss's influence only grew and grew. Uh, in the most perilous of times, they say some trans trans people saw in a trance the obsidian branches that remained even in the deepest night. And ever since then, more and more people of skill and talent would sense the Night Kingdom out there, beyond mundane sight, and they resisted the abyss with totems, with the ley lines, and with the power of the elements. This was the ancient altar where our tribal ancestors would use obsidian to communicate with the Night Kingdom. The wild also gradually took shape during that time, Totems and consciousness created by the congregations of each tribe's living and dead. Ah, uh, okay, that, that's that's good for lore. Okay, so that's how the wilds came to be. They're a manifestation of basically old old dead people, will or maybe spirits. So that's how it is. So that was just part of the wild then? Yes, but a mere embodiment of a single threat of their will. They say that the wild possess no true solid shape or form. It might be hard to explain, but... The entity will surely reappear should you provoke the wild. Uh, let's just focus on putting the statue back in the altar then. Ah, oh, keep it, keep it. Uh, right, now is the time to return it, this to its rightful owner. Uh, is it around here somewhere? Uh, no, no, it wouldn't be here. It would be here. Cruel Obsidian Statue. I wouldn't call that a statue. Uh, a uniquely sculpted Obsidian Statue is a very distinctive, con very distinctive contours. It was once used by the people of Nathan as a medium to communicate with the Night Kingdom. Make offering. Hmm. Uh, weren't we in the canyon ruins just now? Where is this? Oh, projects on an obsidian tablet. Come, come over here. Idle, medium, return. I thought I'll see that cat again. The general voice drifts in as if from a far away, uh, like whispers carried on the wind. The cold consciousness constantly calls out to you through the obsidian statue in your hand. Return, return. Return the item or for me to return? Okay, I'm returning the item.
Hmm, long has it been since visitors from afar have come? This place is too big, too empty. The dark filth enters uninvited, staining even the darkest dreams. Our nation is invaded once more. It is slain were swallowed by the turbulent tides of darkness. The flames of the living, dull and dusk, all shall be extinguished. Trust not lightly the so-called vision of the sacred mountain. Reject his promise. Huh? Whose promise? Sacred Mountain. Is it talking about the volcano in the first arc? You returned. You gave me quite a fright there. Vanishing once you got close to the altar, I thought you'd be abducted by the wild. We were. For a little while. Oh, uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. We, well, we got quite the fright ourselves. That place was super freaky. There was even a huge stone tablet that spoke to us. What's wrong, Turtle Die? Were you worried? Ooh. Uh, now, see what I told you. Your friends have returned, no? Still, a huge stone tablet, you say? You tell like about what you saw? To defeat a manifestation of the wild's will, and from what you said, it sounds like you even entered the Night Kingdom. Since you are no ordinary outlanders, do you think that I live to see one who might return from the Night Kingdom? My life has been worth it, after all. Alright, now that our little issue has been resolved, let us return. I must find a way to return the seal back to how it was. Little issue? Didn't we, you know, do uh, that to a manifestation of the will of, the, of your tribe's wild? Eh, it's no biggie. <laughs> they gave, they gather energy from the ley lines over time, nearly fret on their account. Uh, it is really okay for a trans person like you to uh, to be that cavalier about your own object of worship. It's it is fortunate, yes, for you. Were I a stricter adherent, punishment would surely await you. Uh, yeah, no thanks. And you, little one, never dig anything up from around here again. Uh. Uh, either way, let us make haste before any ancestors decide to protest our actions. Ah, oh, but I got something in exchange. Night Jade. Ah, one of those. No, hang on. Did I have one of those already? In, around here? A nearly weightless black shade enveloped in chilling flames. According to Nathan's Lady, offering a specific altar. Might just open the path to the kingdom rule by the night. What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? Yeah, but mm, this seems completely optional. But to open a permanent path to the night kingdom sounds like an area like Economia. That will be part of the main quest. Uh, uh, it's up there. Okay, I think there's another chest up there. But I can go look for it some other time. Okay, but the, yeah, this quest was short. Pass. Mm. Oh, hang on, let, let me check another thing here. Okay, maybe I did complete that. It was just activate that. 
Maybe there was nothing in between. Uh, and there's that mark on the map as well that I didn't really notice. There's some tablets. Ah, the one offer uh, to the Lord of the Crossroads, offer to the Guardian of the Land of the Night, when the Obsidian Mirror is bathed in twilight. Daily awaiting the decaying night's dream. The envoy who accepts us, she will show us the ancient dream. Let's see. Can you survive? Yeah. They're always fine with. Oh. Uh, high falls. Well, see something here again. Let's get the thing I'm missing. Uh, here. Some more rock that I'm not sure if it's here. No, I think it's up there on the surface. Okay, so now I'm gonna look for. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's a, a thing here. Um, yeah, I think that works. Let me see. I'm not sure there's a quest, but it, it, it seems a little bit like a mini quest. No. Yeah, down here. There's a young source. Strange young source. Hmm. Oh, there's treasure in the cave, but this fella here is, has totally blocked off the entrance and it won't move at all. Aru? Yeah, what's wrong? Aru? Ah, uh, Paimon didn't understand that at all. Turtle Dive, can you tell what this young star is trying to say? Huh? Hmm. Looks like that didn't work. Uh, and if they could understand each other, it's not like you could talk with Turtle Dive, Turtle Dive either. If only we had a way to understand what was being said, then maybe we could give it what it wants and make it move out of the way. Yeah. What to eat? Want to eat? You want to eat? Uh, flat stomach. Stomach. So hot. Want to eat? Uh, what were you mumbling about just now? Grumble? Uh, uh, hey, could it be that you are really hungry? A sorry in here all by itself and no master inside. It probably isn't even able to find its own food. Come on, you know. So Come on, there are a bunch of wild ones eating uh, those burning fruits. Come on, Inus, let's go find, help find it some food. Once it gets full and moves out of the way, the treasure will be all ours. <laughs> what should we feed it, though? Mm, what lamp I will think for a sec. Sarin is here, tend to eat a bit of everything. And Paimo isn't sure what Yanka starts to eat. Looking at scholar. It feels kind of like it should eat leaves and grass and that kind of thing. Let's find one of those and give it a try first. Hungry bellies think not to be too picky. Uh, stars. Um, okay, but it says something. Let's go with what Paimon said. But something that we find around here. Uh, 
Uh, I probably have to give it something. Uh, they will not like it. They won't touch it. Hey, beggars aren't supposed to be this choosy. Uh, what? Just what kind of food am I like? Remember now, want to eat meaty food. Ah, okay, I thought I wanted something hot, actually. Because you... You were... Say something about hot. Uh, meaty food, so... Meat. Hey, <laughs> sure looks good. You'll definitely like it. Or... Well, Uh, the younger star down the, the downs the food in front of it in a flash. You almost don't even manage to see just how the feat was accomplished. Look at the food, it's vanishing. Mamo, you've got competition. Just one serving doesn't seem to be enough. Uh, what are I trying to say? Mamo is a true gourmet. She is very particular about food. No, she eats anything. And we would never just chow down like that. How can you truly enjoy your food if you just vacuum it up? Still, maybe the poor thing was just starving. Poor fella. Let's give it another serving. Or oh. this are that I also want to eat. Let's feed these others Sauropol first. Sauropol. That's a first uh, dish shows up. And then we'll fix you up something delicious. The hunger star eats everything you lay out in a single go. You blink as though the scene seemed to unfold twice. Okay, uh, that should at least fill your tummy. Now, wait a second. Uh, what are you doing sitting down again? Is two serves not enough? Oh, it's just going to sleep right in front of the cave after eating. Doesn't seem remotely interesting getting out of the way either. What should we do? You know, Spawn doesn't get this guy. If you want to take a nap after eating, at least don't block the way. We've murdered so many for chests, what are we doing that for this one? I don't think he ever agreed to get out of the way though. Definitely feels like we've been had. Uh, and he ate so much of our food too. Uh, even turns out against each watch. Come on Inus, we've gotta try to wake it up. Snoring, snoring. Wow, this snoring is sleeping reasonably soundly. Gets it uh, lay about on top of being uh, really good. Can we use that? Ah, try talking. Alright, he's right. Uh, just need block cave. Then can eat meaty food. The young star found deep sleep. It doesn't seem like you'll be able to wake it up. Uh, you won't wake up? So annoying. Do you think he's just pretending to be asleep? Uh, it does seem to actually be asleep. And sleep talking though. You relate the contents of the sleep talk. Are you saying it's intentionally blocking the way just to get food? Cheating people out of their grub? Uh, we fell for a, for a hook lining seeker. Uh, but if that's how things are, then we all have to play nice. Let's just have turtle that tunnel over and get to the chest. Oh. Why, why couldn't we do that from the beginning? Then, if it's gonna take the low road. We can't be expected to play fair either. Your certain companion to take away the treasure chest. Wrong, wrong. 
and well done. Now let's see what goodies are hiding in the chest. Huh? There's nothing at all. Just a note. Note left inside the treasure chest. As I'm writing this note, uh, I've already been laid low by serious illness. Alas, while up above. While up above, I'll say the wilds are below. Uh, this too is my punishment. To accumulate wealth, I took advantage of all the information I had access to as a courier and cheated many people. In the end, after the incident happened, I lost my job as a courier. And all the more, I swindled became restitution. And I even became gravely ill. Uh, me. Uh, me. And uh, all I can say is that this punishment is agony. But even so, I still have things I can't get out of my mind. And that is the Yankosar who never left my side, my companion. Unless I do not have long to live. I stole this chest. It is regrettable. But I had no choice. All I could do uh, was have a guard this empty chest. I hope that should the chest grab the attention of kind passerby, they might feed my companion something. Help it live on, that's enough. Isn't this place kinda hidden for that? Uh, I know you must feel cheated right now, you might even be furious. You can sell me however you like, because I really am a despicable bastard. A rat skulking in the shadows of the sewers. A scum that isn't fit for the track. But do not tear up this note and do not move the chest, I beg of you. By the way, uh, if you are willing, you can leave something in the chest so that the next person to open won't feel cheated. Both I and the Sara will be most grateful to you. It's a Saurian. They can live on their own. Also, oh, the one who left this note was its actual master. Uh, so we weren't tricked by the Saurian, but by its master. Totally responsible. Responsible. But I don't think this should be necessary. So, those who eat too much are destined to be abandoned by their friends. <laughs> hey, don't even joke about things like that. Besides, the Saurian is innocent in all this. Maybe it's just waiting here for its master to return. Which is why he refused to move. Anyway, it's not like you can just let it stay here tricking people out of their food. Let's go find Chief of the Science of the Canopy and tell him about this. Explain the situation to Wayne. And this okay, that was faster than going there. Chief of the Science of the Canopy and bring him over. Oh dear, I had a hunch about this when you came looking for me. Uh, who would have thought? It was the scoundrel that left behind this creature. The scoundrel. Huh? He was the one who did wrong. He was one who did wrong. Then, in fear of punishment, left the tribe of his own accord. <laughs> but I see no good in the divulging the offender's name. Uh, perhaps he himself was well aware that what he did was no no good thing. See, he didn't even leave his name at the end of this letter. So his sergeant chose to join him. No, we cannot say that he chose to do so. Sorens are simple creatures that cannot easily distinguish right from wrong. Most of the time they simply follow their emotions and trust their companions. As I suspected, at the core he hasn't changed. Whatever small wits he has, he employs towards devising tricks to deceive others. Even his own sergeant. We will send people to feed this young Sarah on a regular basis. It is a child of the tribe, after all. As for the scoundrel, it is tragic and indeed, but I refuse to sympathize with him. People should be held responsible for their actions. Ah, oh, poor Yonkasaros. Uh, someone brought good food, nice. When he's back, we eat together. Shouldn't the chest go back there? Leave it open, but... Put the chest back there. Why will he come back? Ah, oh, poor guy. Haha, <laughs> final kindness. Okay, let's see what else now. Mm. And there's a quest of the 
three, but I think that may be a bit long. Let's check the one here. By the waterfall. Hey, this is a good place to camp. Ah, one of those quests. Uh, is that the exact same area where we found you the first time? Uh, Paimo, I had... Uh, Paimon had a guess when she saw the pillars outside, but she really didn't expect to end up here. Alright. Was like like this place, at least. The, though it does make sense after all, you must have spent a lot of time here before you met us. Paimon wonders if those glowing pillars would disappear after we leave this time. Ah, I could not. Still, let's clean up a bit first, then rest for a while. You, Tartada and Paimon tied up the place together. Hmm. And now it's looking pretty good. Alright. Hmm, you're pretty excited, aren't you, Turtledile? You have something you wanna tell us. Alright. Alright. Uh, you want us to turn around? You didn't prepare a surprise for us, did you? Uh. Uh. Your history as a rompe book. She really doesn't understand him that well. You may probably turn around, and all you can hear is the continuous clinging and jingling. Sounds like Tartada is thinking of something. As a short while, Tartada lets out a roar roar. It's probably time to turn back around. Uh, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Let me have a look. Let's see. A super straight branch. A really round rock. And some strange food with a weird color and smell. It's an egg. Okay, I'd say an egg is a strange food with a weird color and smell. But it's nice. Uh, well, it's probably been left out for who knows how many days. You carefully selected and collected all these, didn't you? Are they gifts for us? Alright. Still, we can eat food that's been left out for long. Yeah, they had to be kept in my backpack for years. Ho whoever eats it, and that includes you, will get an upset stomach. Uh, so, you gotta deal with that first. Uh, but this brain is really something. This rock's really round. Let's take a pet rock. And it's shiny too, it is. Uh -huh. We've crossed a lot of rivers and we've seen lots of round rocks. So you can't believe us when we say this stone is a gem amongst rocks. Arr. Hmm, we'll happily take it all. Uh, just put it all in Paimon's secret stash backpack pouch. Maybe they'll come in handy someday. Will they? Uh, since Arda gave us a gift, we should give him a gift in return. Then Paimon will see what she is got in her secret stash. Wow, you s your seldom seen generous side makes an appearance. Just what have you squirreled away, Paimon? Third that went out of his way to show us how much he cares, that's not something to take lightly. Also, if it gets too heavy, Paimon can't really fly, so maybe Paimon can give him some. But then, it's a super shiny gem. Do you like it, Turtle Dial? Is that from Liu? Oh, guess Paimon's pick. Uh, just the thing, huh? Hey, be careful now, don't drop it. Oh boy, the, why does Paimon feel like you lose the gem if you hold on it like that? Why don't we go find the children of apples? If anyone's got James Smith who could shape it for us, it'd be them. 
Damn, it would be nice if you could put a necklace or something on the on top of the dial. But I don't think we have any kind of customization like that here. Oh. How are you feeling today? Oh wow. Hey, Tardar, sure looks like he's in a good mood. Uh, we can never get another the path is ours when the other is around. I like to to talk to him. Hmm. Touch his horn. Or I probably touch you. <laughs> no, you go. You're tinkling Paimon's palm. Okay, and about the golden signs. Oh. Mm, the golden signs you speak of are probably those written inscriptions. So sometimes I can see them where you say they are. Woo No need for you to start worrying. Uh, it's better not to see some things. There's a Dominus, you should be careful, okay? Mm. Maybe I would choose the pillars to go rest, please. Oh, nice, they will stay here. Ah, and I can rest the area entrance. I. Hmm. You need a better name than rest area. Two of the apples. Oh, didn't get a quest. Uh, gift, gift, and gift in return. Oh, okay, that's Jim Smith. Her. Imps. Welcome to our shop. If you like us to cut a gemstone, you're in the right place. Hey there, uh, we do have a gemstone here, and we like to have it custom processed. It's for our little Tepetosaurus companion. Tada! Here it is. Wow, this gem is of truly exceptional quality. Look at the size and how clear it is. If you like a some job, the processing will be quite difficult. Now, that sounds familiar. Uh, so what's next? Extra fees? No, of course not. Just what kind of person do you think I am? Our shop specializes in the art of cutting and polishing your gemstones. If we run into a good one, we rather polish for free and let its beauty speak for our quality as it carries our name out into the world. We never see, we never set high prices willy nilly. But just as a good artisan seeks the best materials to work with, so do the best gemstones require a suitable artisan to work them. I know just, uh, I know just such a gem master. And he will be perfect for doing this one justice. Oh, that's amazing. A quick call the gym master out. Uh, but you might need to make an appointment in advance if you'd like to see him. If you don't, chances are he'll be he'll be out seeking inspiration. Seek inspiration. Yeah, Master Kulahal uh, is a pretty is pretty unusual even amongst Master Craftsmen. He doesn't believe that artisans should just polish a gemstone according to blueprints, but that they should understand how to observe all the beauty in the natural world the natural world has to offer. Uh, for example, learning polishing techniques from the tiny ripples on the lake surface or fresh work patterns from the shifting and billowing clouds. He calls it gathering inspiration. Uh, sounds kind of complicated. Still, if you're in a hurry, you can go out and find him wherever he happens to be gathering inspiration from. Let me mark where he said he was going for you. It's still part of the quest. Somewhere's running shoes, so where it was parking gym. Ah, I don't think I ever spoke to you outside the other quest. Our gems are super popular. I was talking have you all some these reserves. Just ah, okay. I ah, that too. 
Then I should know. The GMS, so let's go ask. Go how? Gem Master. Excuse me, uh, are you Master Kohal? That's right, that is, in fact, my name. Uh, so, you're the Gem Master who is looking for inspiration. We came looking for you based on Emix recommendation. We noticed you were staring at the tree just now. Hmm. Uh, were you in the middle of mining for for gems or of creativity? No, uh, actually, forget it. It's not important anymore. Is there something I can help you with? Hmm. We brought in a beautiful gemstone, and we were hoping you'd process it for Turtle Dial. Uh, come on, Turtle Dial, show you him. Wow, wow. Huh? Yeah. You hear the fluttering of avian wings by your ears. By the time we recover, the gem has vanished from the dice claws without a trace. That was fast. Oh, wow. uh, wait a sec, where is the gem? Or where could such a huge gem have gone off to? Seems like a bird nicked it. Uh, what the heck? The birds, the birds here is still stuff? Rude. War wow, wow. Actually, what I was about to say uh, was even if the gem hadn't been stolen. I still couldn't help you cut it, since all my tools were also stolen by those damn birds. Uh, I was actually just carefully looking at those birds, going over them one by one to see which one of them uh, had their dirty claws on my tools. Mm, is that even possible? These birds are just the worst. Come on, let's go uh, get the gem back. Wow. And don't forget about my tools too. Retreat the last gems tools. Come on. You could just let me kill them. I do that with humans. That's two stuff. Uh, they all perch up there on the tree. They could be playing to build nests with my tools. My brave friends, uh, it's all up to you. Uh, the pain of being without the means to earn my own bread. The master carving toolbox, alright? Let's put it away for now. Let's burn with the carving tools so badly. Paimon doesn't get it. Let's put them away. Found it, so it was here all along. Now oh, let me see. Because oh. Bell has been hoarding it for a while. Uh, a gem man has a gift, a crystal clear yellow gemstone. Pamela intends to give it to your sort of companion, but you need to process the gem well before it's truly ready to be given as always as a gift. Arts and box, box of parts. Suitcase, the suitcase containing parts required for jewel processing by Gem Master Kulahau. The components inside are all made of precious materials. They're all made of precious materials. Suitcase contains all the tools, but the gems on the thing are not expensive, but it should look handy. There's all them. Oh. The things here vanish. Oh no, it's over there. Okay, I thought it was over here that I had to go.
there. Can this be? My tools are back. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, I didn't get a good look before, but I must say, now there's one pretty gem. It's got some... It's got the same flashy yellow as the burst tarsus. Ah, I shouldn't use those plastic scoundrels as my analogies. Uh, like the sky just brightening at dawn. Like the first rays of the sun. That kind of early morning sky color. Yeah, that's a good description. For a master, your metaphors aren't very masterful. Uh, he doesn't have to work with metaphors. Or just with gems. So that's the meaning of getting inspiration. Oh, so you heard of the practice before? Either way, just leave the gem to me. As I said before, I'll process for free. Uh, consider it a gift uh, for your help in retrieving my tools. As for how long it'll take, drop by the gem quarry in two days time. Real time or game time. Here, Master Cole has already left your processed gem in the shop. Leave instructions that I personally deliver to you. Uh, Master Cole isn't here today either. That's right, he's not getting inspiration yet again. By the way, he also made a set of locks to carry with him, saying it was to prevent his tools from being stolen. Which is weird. Would anyone want to steal our cutting tools and sell them? Of course they wouldn't. It's because. So it means he still doesn't know they were stung by birds. Let's spare Cole how to embarrass me. Because, because there's someone who thinks they they can steal his skills. The way to forget it. Anyway, we take the gem. Uh, the shape's so pretty. Uh, that's what you call masterwork, huh? Wow. Oh. Looks like that really likes it too. Can I see it? Allow me to thank you on Turtle's behalf. Hey now, as long as your little starling likes it, uh, I'll be sure to pass on your your complaints to Master Kulahau. Please come again. I wanted to see. Why show me the other gem and not show me the final product? Um, okay, okay, and uh, there's supposed to be something there, I guess. Look, there's a camera here, uh, and some props too. Do you think this is a film set? Props? Ah, uh, ah, uh, tiny houses. But the houses, uh, they're so tiny, they make it look like a giant. Wow, funny humans. Uh, this would make a great house for you, Paimo. Yeah. Seriously, what are you about? There's no way Paimon could live in such a small house, she couldn't even stretch her arms and legs out. Suddenly, yet utterly seamless. What? That was too fast. Oh, hello, are you guys interested in filmmaking too? 
And so then I beseech you, uh, join forces with me, Akatanga, uh, to bring this burgeoning new train to the lanes on Atlan. Uh, that is, that it might sweep all before it. People of Nathan never travel outside. Somebody from Fontaine will have to have shown him some uh, movies and stuff. Uh, how come you're so hyped out of sudden, Turtle Dial? Uh, anyone think you were a film buff yourself, chiming like that? Uh, uh, you have King Eye, little one. In truth, everything you see here was set up with the sole intent of making a certain little Tepeli star the next big star. Ah, he's he's gonna be the monster in the movie. He's gonna be Godzilla. Uh, great pity that my brain took the little fellow away. We had an almighty spat over our creative differences, after which she stormed off with my most important actor. Another gone. I should never have mixed friends in business. The project failed and lost my friend too. In other words, I'm doubly defeated. Uh, but that's all waters under the bridge. For now, what stands before me but another little Tepetasaur, starry eyed and eager for stardom. With such enthusiasm, what could go wrong? We shall make the next big hit. So, what do you say? If you can help me complete this timeless, groundbreaking work of mine, I'll be sure to reward you handsomely. Man, he this time this he actually is going to do something timeless without breaking. He's starting Kaiju Jenner. Uh, well, seeing as Thursday likes the idea, hundred and ten percent sounds like uh, uh He never said how much. 110% sounds like some kind of scam. He never said the percentage. Let's see that because I think there was some mistranslation somewhere. It is not an overnight sensation. I'll still compensate you for helping out with the shoot. A win win situation, no? We can help, but we still don't know what this film of yours is even about. Well, here's what I got so far. This thing, a sudden flash of dazzling white light heralds the arrival of an uninvited guest to the tribal settlement. Perfectly round, but for a single spike. A crackle beast uh, as it stops for a moment on the grass. A scorching smell begins to waft upon the air. An emissary of Shibalfa. The tribe's folk looks terrified when they see it. Uh, bang, crackle, beast, a foul abomination with no teeth. It's coming our way. It will surely devour us all. That wasn't well explained. <laughs> Just as a wicked villain is about to break through the tribe's defenses, boom, boom, our savior with the red tail scarf appears. Uh, seemingly, uh, ah, so he will be the hero already. He won't be the. the destroyer right now seemingly out of nowhere where did it came from the tribes folk gasp marveling at its sturdy claws stronger than obsidian itself and capable of of carving through rocky rock of any kind the face with such a slippery shameless foe surely even for turtle dive this is a fight that cannot be won wow cries our savior in more of a piercing shriek than an angry roar and the evil, toothless monstrosity begins to pulsate. And then I get what is supposed to be the monster. A raging blaze lights up the sky, followed by a thunderous rumbling. Then waves of heat begin to flow forth hotter even than the liquid flagstone. Round, toothless. It's, it's a power slime. Uh, immerse the sheet, the toothless fiend is vanquished. No, no, okay. The, the 
I thought the monster was throwing liquid. Something hotter than the uh, flagstone. Where's such heat? The toothless fiend has is vanquished. Hot, hot, hot! Cried the tribes folk, who have nearly escaped the disaster. Uh, as after the aftershock surged through the ranks. What was the monster? But when they look up, they discover that their savior with the red tail scarf has vanished without trace, as suddenly and inexplicably as it first arrived. Now, what do you think? Roar, roar, roar. It's amazing, that's exactly what I've been waiting to see. It's unique, big heart to get my head around, I'm honest. Yeah, it wasn't well explained, but it is amazing. It's much better than the other movies so far. I knew it. I knew this kind of thing would appeal to someone. Mm, Paimon doesn't really get it. But as long as Turtledown likes it, that's all that really matters, right? So, what exactly do we actually have to do? It's very simple. Uh, first of all, all you need to, you need to set out the performance props, place the wooden barrel and the elemental bait somewhere suitable. Wooden barrel is your secret weapon. So you do well to place it in the middle of the scene, as long as it doesn't block the main character or the set buildings, it would be best if the elemental bait was near where the antagonist entered from, in other words, the near side. Once the actors are all here, it's time to get moving, turtle die or saver with the red tail scarf makes the entrance. Uh, when the plot calls for it, the two of you must guide the antagonist towards the wooden barrel, them scram with equal haste. Once you've reached a safe position, simply smash the wooden barrel. And that's it, job done. Can't wait to see the films when it's finished. Okay, so probably lured a monster. What's up, need me to run through once more? No, no need. Then best of luck, calling on you. I suppose I can. Okay, in the middle, but not in the front. Things are too close, there's gotta be a more suitable spot. Well, here's. He's at the near side. Can... That's where Turtle that will come from. And in the middle, will be covering the things. This important item, we can leave it out of the picture. Best in the middle frame. Yeah, but here will be in front of the things. Let's see here just because you probably won't be. That was the place. It's at the near side. Wouldn't the near side be close to the camera? This spot for now and show there's a damage appear from one side of the frame. We're good, this was perfect. Okay, when the actors are in position, the two of you must guide the antagonist towards the wooden barrel's plane, then scram with people who haste. Once you've reached a safe position, simply smash the wooden barrel. And then, turtle that will actually fight. A monster. I will make it as right position. Oh, hang on, I, I don't know if I got a picture or something here. I wanna. If turtle dies around here. Ah, can I go down? Uh, that's not great, but okay, it's a picture. The position. Ah, that is the enemy. Ah, why, why is Tim suddenly feeling as antagonist? Nobody rain. By us, 
Should quite robots start shooting. No such evil uh, cannot be forgiven. The rest in peace, my friends. Oh, the agony, seeing the fallen brothers of our tribe. Uh, how can one not be moved to tears? But now is not time for tears. Today, I face the all scorching emissary, Sholoto. Uh, and come, come what may, I shall have my revenge. <laughs> Poor slime. Uh, ferocious, toothless beast whose demeanor is as cool and composed as a lavender mellow, and the legendary fruit from far across the sea. What sort of face was it? Uh, I hear you ask. A visage of such merciless cruelty that even gulping down vo volcanically spicing tab tacos will leave it unmoved. Truly terrifying. This time, this time your remorse shall be great indeed. And with that, the giant beast with the red tail scarf unleashed a mighty meaty fireball he had honed through countless hours of practice. Alright, now's the time. Lure the electric slime toward the wooden barrel, then smash it to smithereens. Uh, what? Just smash the barrel? How's that gonna make anyone buy this whole mighty meaty fireball business? Sounds kind of weird, but if you say so, I'll give it a try. Hit that to run. Is that powder? <laughs> just a bit more. Wait until the time is near the barrel. No, don't turn. Uh, didn't turn out how I imagined at all. Let's start over. Oh, beat it. Serial, no need to rush. To tell the truth, I was just a teeny tiny bit worried for the little one just now. I wanted the fact to be as realistic as possible, so I might have gone a bit overboard on the explosives. Nearly blew the whole settlement sky high. Even for me, that felt a bit too dangerous. Yeah, what if someone got hurt? Or there was a fire or something? We are always burning the grass. Uh, in any case, we... With this experience to go on, I'll know how to do things better next time. Thank you all for your help. Now, how about we take a look at how it turned out? <laughs> to all your surprise, neither the savior with the red scarf, nor the evil Kraken antagonist, nor the trini shot of explosion seem to have made the final cut. Only close-ups of a Tanga's constantly changing expressions. But weren't we seeing many takes from the camera view? I'm the start of the show. Congratulations, have you used the camera before? You know, it's true that this is the first time I've, I've ever officially used a camera, but surely I didn't get it the wrong way around. It's for you to say, but what about all the hard work you just put in? Oh, Internal Dai was looking forward to seeing it. I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. Alright, how about this? Just think of the previous event as I rehearsal. We'll do it again, and this time, it'll be the real deal. I'll do my absolute best, and everything possible to shoot the best film I can possibly shoot. Hang on. They can see the, ca the things they filmed in those cameras now. Uh, live like that. I get that they can print a picture, but like a Polaroid, but they don't really have a screen or seeing the film. Uh, seems like you're eager to give this another shot. Enter the dial. Let's do it then. Oh, nothing goes wrong this time. You follow the same process before and finally get the result you wanted. Incredible, absolute perfection. That completely, utterly exceeded my expectations. A complete, utter, absolute piece of cake. Jector, where the bones you promised us? No. Absolute cinema. Aside from the payment we agreed upon, I also give you this picture to keep as a souvenir. I must say, this really has turned out to be my magnum opus. 
it's your first job. Um, of course, I couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you look so imposing, Turtle Dio. Not bad at all. Roar. Uh, look at li looks like Turtle Dio is happy with how it turned out too. Well, all's well that ends well, as they say. Alright, that was cool. Oh, great, I can put it in my house. Even better. On oh, the car, picture frame, a wild and robust photo frame capturing the formidable figure of the little creature in the film. The image of the mighty meat fireball is a manifestation of the fiery vortex of rage burning within the protagonist's heart. This time, uh, this time your remorse shall be great indeed. Such is the record of this scene in Akatanga's film. Oh! Who knows, perhaps that friend of mine might even have a change of heart once she sees this. Huh. Uh, hang on. Where is it? Ah, here. Ah, the things stay here. Ah, the camera not. But cool, pretty cool. Alright, let me just... Let's check the achievements I got here. Uh, talk about me, should I turn to Obsidian item, Idol? Offering to nothingness. Okay. All the scattered night change and combine into superficial night change offering. Ah, so I got them all already. I don't know where I got more besides the one I had. Is it just two? Uh, share food with the Yogosaurus blocking the way again. Uh, anyway, at least evil machine has been shut down. Racial resistance. Yeah, make this a good place to camp. In the rest area, free the ruined pillars for a second time. Yeah, but why were those pillars at the entrance of Nathan the first time? Alright. Let's try to go. One. Can each. For us. Not yet. 70 days. Plenty of time. Alright, I think that's good for now. Mm, this just got today, so we can wait a few days to start. And alright. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. So I'm off. I can't promise you'll like what you see, 